Well, Anderson, it's certainly been a challenge trying to get anybody to talk to us here at the state capitol. There has been so much backlash, as you can tell here by the protesters, so nobody wants to touch this thing. But take a look at what happened today when I tried to get some lawmakers to talk to me about SB 1062. And no comment right now. We're waiting for the governor. We came Thank all the you. way from New York, though, to try and see why you voted uh, the Enjoy way you voted. Enjoy great weather and bring everybody from New York, New York that you want to. We have great weather and spring baseball is almost there, so you're welcome to be here as yes. long as you want. Representative, I hear you're the man who gives great quotes. I, I know you have to caucus. No, you're not, because we're going to caucus, too. We're going to be in there. No, so. no, no, look. <laughs> well, can I just, okay, well, so, so me give me look. 30 seconds. My 1 o'clock is 30, here. I'm 30, very, very late. 30 seconds. Tell me, just tell me why you, just, just please, I'm sir. Catch you just, on the way out. Can I just ask you why you support it? No, thanks. What do you make of all the attention it's getting? I think there's a lot of misunderstanding. Do you want to explain, set the record straight? I don't, but I appreciate your offering. You have nothing to say at all, sir? So it's interesting how no one really wants to talk about it, people who support it. I understand you were able to grab a minute with Senator Steve Yarbrough, who, who authored the bill. What did he say? We tracked him down and we asked him if he had any plans to try and talk with Governor Brewer or meet with Governor Brewer before she made her decision. And this is what he told me. The indications that we're getting um, is that the governor may very well veto this. Is there anything you want to say to the governor? Well, uh, the governor I, I consider a, a dear friend of mine. Uh, I will, will take opportunity to communicate with the governor when she gets home and I'll try to persuade her to sign the bill. What will you tell her? Well, I will tell her basically what the bill does, what the bill doesn't do, and that it has been extraordinarily distorted as to, uh, and, you know, the, the whole struggle that it's been made up to be when it's really not about that at all. Will I be successful? Who knows? And Anderson, the senator also told me that he doesn't expect Governor Brewer to wait until Friday or Saturday to make her decision. He thinks that she'll make that decision pretty quickly after meeting with him. That, he said, could come as early as tomorrow. But Anderson, I want to share with you one more exchange that I had earlier today with Representative Sonny Borelli. We finally were able to talk after he stopped speed walking. You already declined an answer. I haven't even asked you a question. Can you, can you tell me why we need... SB 1062 here in Arizona? <laughs> um, it strengthens ex ex existing laws. Can you just stop for one second? No, so we're I'm not real all busy. out of breath? Can we just ask you, really, just one quick question. Why, just a straight answer on why you need it here. What does it change? You know, that sword swings both ways. Okay, what about this scenario? You have a gay person that owns a printing shop, okay? And somebody from the Westboro Baptist Church comes in there and demands that they print a sign that obviously the printer is not going to agree with. Should that uh, group, that religious group, demand that that print shop print that thing? Does not that business owner have a right to say, get out, I'm not going to print that. It's offensive. And with that, he hustled right back inside the back entrance of the Capitol building.